Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss the step method in the cost allocation process. In the prior sessions, we introduced the cost allocation method and specifically we covered the direct method. In this session, we will cover the step method using the same example. This way you can compare and contrast the two method. And in the next recording, we will use the reciprocal method which is the third method. Now, why the step method? Let's review real quick what is the step method. The step method accounts for services provided between service departments. So we have service department one, service department two, P1, production one, and production two. And the direct method, and the direct method, the service department provide services or allocate overhead immediately to the production department. Now in this method, what we're going to do, one of the service department, S1, will provide, we would provide services or we would allocate some of the overhead to S2, then S2 will allocate its overhead to the production department. So S1 will provide services to S2, account for services provided between service department. Now also S1 will provide to P1 as well and P2 as well as S2. But what I'm trying to say is there is an interrelationship, but it's a one way, one service department allocate, allocate overhead to the other. Now this method stops short of the complexity of the reciprocal method which we will see in the next recording. However, it's easier making it more manageable while adding realism to the allocation and it makes sense that service department, what do they do? They service each other. The IT department service every every department including the HR. IT is a service department, HR is a service department. And to be more realistic, also HR service IT, because the people that works in IT go through the HR department. So there is a reciprocal method, but we'll talk about that next. So the step method offers a practical approach for cost allocation when service departments interact. Now keep in mind, at the end of the day, this is an allocation process, it's a way to do what? To spread the overhead cost, the indirect cost. So it's not traceable. It's not direct. That's why it's not the direct method, it's just an allocation method. So it's a middle solid ground, more accurate than the direct method, but simpler than the reciprocal method. Now, the best way to illustrate this is to look at an example. And as, as I just mentioned, we look, we will work the same example that we did for the direct method. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Hello everyone. Are you struggling with your CMA exam preparation? Do you feel that your review course is moving too fast, too brief, or not covering topics in depth? Well, if that's the case, at Farhat Lectures, we can help you. We build your confidence through in-depth explanation not memorization or reading the slides. What we will do is we provide baby steps approach to break down complex topic so you can truly learn, understand the material. How do we do so? We offer video lectures, we offer practice MCQs, we offer true-false questions, we offer exercises, we offer the notes. Understanding the material is the first step in passing the exam. Once you understand the material, you have gained the confidence to pass, and you can pass with Farhat Lectures. What can you do now? Start your free trial. You have a two-day free trial. Take a look at it. Give us a chance. Your risk is zero. You like it, you keep it. You don't like, you cancel. Give us a chance. We can help you pass the CMA exam. Direct method, we have green leaf manufacturing has two service departments, a maintenance and an IT, and two production departments, assembly and packaging. The distribution of each service department expenses of the production department is shown in the table below. This is from maintenance, 60% to support, 15% to assembly, 25% to packaging. Remember, 16 plus 15 plus 25 equal to 100%. From the IT, 20% to maintenance, 40% to assembly, 40% to package, 20 plus 40 
plus 40 equal to 100 percent now the direct operating cost of departments include both variable and fixed cost as follow the service department cost is uh, and i'm sorry the, the service department cost specifically the maintenance and the maintenance we have one hundred and twenty thousand dollar this is the amount that we need to allocate in the it we have thirty thousand the production cost department costs are seventy thousand for the assembly fifty thousand for packaging now we need to determine the total allocated cost to the assembly and packaging department using the step method now when we use the step method what we are going to do we would look at the service department with the largest resources the most amount of overhead and we'll start with that and in our situation maintenance is greater than IT support so we're going to first allocate the 120 some of it to the IT support some of it to assembly some of it to packaging then we're going to take the IT support and allocate to assembly allocate to packaging without going back and allocating some of the IT support to maintenance so this is what we will do no further allocation backward from the IT support to the maintenance department the best way to do that is to start to look at the example start to crunch the numbers maintenance department how much do we have in the maintenance department 120 well what are we going to do we'll start with that department and allocate 60 percent of that to IT 60 percent of 120 if my math is right is 72,000 this this is going to be added to the IT so now what we have in IT we have 30,000 initially plus 72,000 allocated now we have an IT 102,000 now we're going to take the 120 multiplied by 15 percent and we're going to alloc we are going to allocate to the assembly 18,000 we're going to take the 120 multiplied by 25 percent and we are going to allocate 30,000 to the packaging and this is what it would look like IT will get 72 assembly will get will get 18 production and the packaging production department will get 30 remember we added 72,000 to 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 which one to the IT support now let's go back and work with the IT support we said the IT support at this point will have a total overhead to be allocated of 102 102 now the IT support will never go back and support the maintenance that's out what they're left with anything that they have it will be allocated to the assembly I'm sorry they will never yeah they will never allocate to the they will never allocate to the maintenance because they don't go back so all what they allocate to so we cross the 20 they allocated the assembly they allocated the packaging how much would they allocate 40 plus 40 equal to 80 percent now we say 40 divided by 80 is 50 percent 40 divided by 80 is 50 percent what does that mean it means we are going we are going to split the 102 50 percent to assembly 50 percent to packaging let's take a look at the computation 102 times 50 percent 51,000 goes to the assembly 102 times 50 percent 51,000 goes to the packaging now s2 service 2 which is the it is fully allocated completing the what the step method process Let, let's take a look at the full picture from the maintenance we have 48,000 18,000 allocated to assembly 30,000 allocated to packaging and the remainder remember was allocated to the IT which is the largest portion IT we said we have 102 51 goes to the assembly 51 goes to packaging now we are ready to compute the assembly gets 18 plus 51 equal to 69,000 allocated from the maintenance and the IT support the packaging is 30 plus 51 equal to 81,000 now we include the total production cost assembly 70,000 69 plus 70 equal to 139 81 plus 50 equal to 131 in total total production department cost allocated is 270 150 was service and 120 is production and if we go back 150 uh, 150 and one 20 in total of 270 what should you do now you want to go to Farhat lectures look at additional multiple choice resources that's going to help you whether you are looking for your CMA to get your CMA CPA accounting courses professional certification in the next session we would look at the third method 
of cost allocation, which is the reciprocal method, which consider the most challenging. Stay motivated and invest in yourself.